guys, it's your girl, Ashley Kirkwood with the Speak Your Way to Cash podcast, where we teach you how to start at the top of the speaking market instead of working your way up from the bottom. During this show, you will hear solo episodes from me, where I'll show you how I have landed and negotiated five and six figure speaking contracts and licensing deals. You'll also hear from our amazing guests who have grown enormous speaking businesses by utilizing sales and marketing principles that work. If you want to grow your speaking business, listen to this podcast. And then afterwards, head on over to ashleynicolekirkwood.shop and grab my book, Speak Your Way to Cash, How to Start at the Top of the Speaking Market Instead of Working Your Way Up from the Bottom. Ready to dive in? Let's go. Hey, y'all. What's up to the Speak Your Way to Cash family? It's Ashley Kirkwood back again with another podcast episode. But this time, guys, I am actually going to let you listen in to a live video that I recorded. Now, if you're listening to this live video on the podcast and you're like, oh, I want to join your next live. I want to ask you questions. I want to be able to get feedback about my business. Then you have to follow me on Instagram at The Ashley Nicole Show and make sure you're following the Speak Your Way to Cash Facebook page. All right. Make sure you're following the Speak Your Way to Cash Facebook page because that's where I go live. I also sometimes go live in the Speak Your Way to Cash Facebook group, but enough about that. Even though you may have missed it live, you're about to hear it again. So listen into this live episode and let me know what you think. You can always send me an email to Ashley at speakyourwaytocash.com. Let's listen in. Hey guys, my name is Ashley Kirkwood. I am the host of the Speak Your Way to Cash podcast. I'm also the founder of the Speak Your Way to Cash live event, which is coming up really, really soon. And I'm so excited about it. It's going to be an incredible event where we will for three days be coaching speakers, experts, consultants, and entrepreneurs to land paid speaking contracts, five and six figure speaking contracts. That's what we do at Speak Your Way to Cash. And I'm really, really, really excited about it. Now I'm going to do something over the next 30 days. So listen in, this is an announcement. Over the next 30 days, I will be answering some of the questions that you all have sent in as your most pressing issues when growing your speaking and consulting business. I'm going to be answering these questions. And tonight, we have a really, really, really good question to dive into, and I'm hoping it'll be a little bit short. So over the next 30 days, I'm going to be answering these questions that you sent in. And these are things that have been the biggest barrier to you growing your speaking business. And I asked, I was like, What is the biggest barrier to you growing your speaking business? And we received, let me see how many, over a hundred responses from y'all. And so we are going through these responses and I'm going to attempt, I shouldn't even say attempt. I'm going to at least five days a week, do a little video showing you all how to overcome these barriers. All right. So you'll want to listen into that. Today, we're going to be talking about referrals. Are referrals hurting your business? Are referrals hurting your business? So for all of y'all that are speakers, experts, entrepreneurs, authors, tap in, listen in, share this interview with a friend because we are going deep into our referrals hurting your business. Here's the thing, y'all. I love a good referral. Tell all your friends about me. Send this podcast episode to them. Leave a leave a five-star review underneath it. Let them know about the Speak Your Way to Cash live event. Any of y'all who are watching this live, because y'all know when I stream my podcast, I do it live. Are any of y'all watching it live, attending the event? Just drop a me in the comments. And I, when I say event, I mean Speak Your Way to Cash live in November, because it's going to be off the chain. You definitely want to make sure that you are getting your ticket there. But although referrals are great, You need a way to grow your business that is predictable. Somebody drop predictable in the chat. For those of y'all driving, listening to this on the podcast, just whisper predictable to yourself, okay? You need a way to grow your business that is predictable. You need a way to grow your business that allows you to increase and decrease results with effort. Like literally, if all you're doing right now is getting referrals, it could be hurting your business. Referrals aren't bad. I think you should get more referrals. But if you're getting referrals and you don't have a you don't have a referral program around it, you don't have a, a process around referrals, you don't have a system to get referrals that is consistent, that is predictable, that is scalable, it could be hurting your business. Because you get the false sense that everything's okay when you get that couple of referrals a week. And I'll just speak from personal experience. One of the things that we did in order to grow our law firm prior to starting this business Well, not prior to starting this business, but at the same time I started Speak Your Way to Cash, I started a law firm. And that law firm, it was a a boutique firm, and most of our clients were on some type of a retainer if they weren't one-off trademark clients. So we had the one-off trademark clients, but the bulk of our revenue came from our clients who were general counsel clients. 
And one of the things that we did, this is a pro tip, so write this down. When we wanted to grow revenue in Q4, we would ask our best clients, is there anyone else that we should be speaking to about their business so that we can help them the same way that we're helping you. And we would have them to share their contact list with us so that we could reach out to them and we could systematically get referrals. So it wasn't just, oh, people are, because you will get referrals. People will be like, oh, Ashley's a great lawyer, go to her. But we wanted a way to systematically do it. And with Speak Your Way to Cash Live, guess what we do, y'all? The same thing. While people were leaving reviews last year, we asked them, hey, who else should be at this event next year that wasn't here this year? You know what we do with that information? We reach out to those people. So if you're just getting referrals, like you're doing nothing to get referrals, they're just coming in the door and you don't have any process, program, or system around it, you should rethink that. That ain't predictable. You should rethink that. And then think about also, how are you going to thank people when they do give you referrals? What does that look like as well? Because that's really important too. When people are giving you referrals, you want to reward them because you want to keep getting referrals, especially from your best clients, especially from your best clients. And when I say best clients, I love all my clients. They are all amazing but there are tears. (laughs) Like there are tears. And if you don't have tears in your business, you should. What are our tears based on? The amount of money the client spends with us in addition to how much we enjoy working with the client. That's what it's based on. So we have an internal ranking system for that. Now, when you think about our corporate speaking clients, our corporate clients who are paying us to do speaking engagements, consulting, and training, we also have a systematic way to get referrals. And you always want to ask for multiple, not just one. Hey, you got three people that I can help just like you. I loved working with you. I'd love to work with you as well. If you don't have the Speak Your Way to Cash book, you need to go get it. Speakyourwaytocash.com slash buy book. Why do I say that? Because in part four, is it part four? It may be part Part five of this book, we actually talk about the customer journey and the customer experience and working some of this in. It's in chapter 15. For those of you who already have it, that starts on page 209. So make sure you get that book, speakyourwaytocash.com slash buy book. But check this out. Let's go over a couple of different things. Number one, I want to talk through why most people are failing to maximize referrals. We've kind of talked through that already, but if you're taking notes, the reason why most people people fail to maximize on referrals is because they don't have a referral program or a system. They're just letting people refer them when they can. They're not telling them how to refer them. They're not telling their clients who they'd like to get referrals from. So you should really look into that, particularly with your corporate clients. Let them know exactly the type of businesses you want to support. Please do. Please do. Some of that I bought three books, two to share because I care. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So that's number one. That's why most people are failing to maximize referrals. Number two, how do you avoid the feast or famine profits? Now, this is where we get into the questions. One of our great listeners, one of our amazing Speaker Ready Cash family members, Allison wrote in and said, pitching. Pitching is the biggest issue she has in her business. Every opportunity she's had has been through word of mouth. I've never actually pitched. Followed closely by, this is her second issue, charging my rate. Even as what I do, I don't want to say all her details in here, but even even in her profession, and she knows that in her profession, they book speakers routinely and pay their rate. It's been very difficult for her to actually charge her rate. Gratefully, the Speaker Ready Cash book has been teaching me to divorce my rate from my worth. That's why y'all got to get that book, okay? (laughs) And she knows that she'll never be paid her worth. So a couple of things in there. Number two thing that we're going to cover is this. You avoid feast or famine profits by pitching. Second thing, you also avoid feast or famine profits, not just by pitching any and everyone, but by pitching people that you know you can help transform. It makes no sense for me to go into a company and pitch them if I don't think I can help them. Like, no. You're not just pitching any and everyone. You want to start building relationships with people who you can add value to. And let me tell y'all something else. If y'all want a bonus tip, just drop bonus in the chat. For y'all on the podcast land, I know y'all are saying bonus in your heads. So I'm gonna give y'all the bonus. But a bonus tip is this. I often get asked, how do I have relationships with such people, with certain people? We have relationships with people everywhere from like influencers, million dollar business owners, people of influence, whatever the case may be. I have really great mentors who've done extraordinarily well in business over and not, I don't I mean online business I mean like like they do they do 30 million dollars in their in their day jobs like they have successful careers maybe they own we have people who own different hotel chains who sit on boards and this and that anyways great mentors of influence one of the things that I've learned if you want a relationship with someone who has influence who has had success in their lives the best thing that you can do is position yourself to add value to them first serve first is my mentality with relationships serve first and the great thing, this is the great thing. This is this is like good news. So everyone lean into this, right? The great thing about wanting a relationship with someone who perceivably has more than you, maybe they have more money than you, whatever, is this. 
I don't have to give you money. So if I want a relationship with you and you already do extraordinarily well financially, well then money ain't gonna be the thing that I add to your life necessarily. That's not gonna make or break, you know, what you got going on. You're already doing really well financially. So what else can I do to add value to your life? What can I send you that will help? If you recently moved, can I send you a list of, of recommendations for referrals? If you're new in town and looking for a new church, can I send you a list of churches that are in the area? If you are an academic, I have professors that I would use this strategy with. Like I had a professor who was incredibly helpful to me, helped me to, to transfer from my first law school to Northwestern Law. And I told her, and I knew that she wanted to adjunct at Northwestern. So I introduced her to the head of faculty. They ended up hiring her to adjunct. We're still tight to this day. None of that costs me anything. It didn't cost me anything. You know what else I used to do for the partners at my old firm? When I was finishing my internship or I was finishing a quarter, I would just send handwritten thank you notes or I would send flowers to everyone who I spoke with. Or I would go and read something that they had written so long ago and I would tell them, hey, I read what you wrote. I absolutely love the part about A, B, and C. I went ahead and forwarded it to three friends. Or when they would give me really good advice, either personally or through material that they have written or published in the world, I would go back and say, yo, you wrote an article in 20 whatever and it said A, B, and C. I actually did that. I, I went and did what you said and it changed my life. Let me tell you how. Thank you so much for everything you've done. Do you know how flattering that is? People think that humans are moved by giving people money. Like, oh, Ashley, I'm gonna give you some money or I can't afford your course or I can't, like, I can't do, no. People are moved by gratitude. The best thing you can do if you want, if you want relationships with influential people is show gratitude and serve them first because everyone's asking them for stuff. So if you can come in and just look for how you can serve them, you're already separating yourself from 90% of the other people. Well, now you're like, Ashley, why are you telling us about gratitude and serving first? I thought this was all about sales and marketing and mindset. Well, it is because every single person who I have shown gratitude to, I can easily call and ask for an introduction to because my rule is I need to serve you first. It's also a way to sit in your power seat. A lot of people approach relationships like this. Oh, they're so big and I'm so small. But anytime you have the opportunity to help someone else, it is you being in a powerful position to help them. You don't hold it over their heads to do anything weird, but it just allows for you to realize, wow, I have other things of value outside of money that move the human heart more. So if you are, if you're stuck in your business and you're like, man, I'm not getting enough sales. I don't have the relationships I need. I don't have the mentors I need. First step is this. Don't focus on what you don't have. Figure out how you can leverage what you do have. And everyone has the opportunity and the propensity to leverage gratitude, to be grateful. <laughs> you don't all be grateful. So that's something that I would say, but you are going to need to pitch. You are going to need to pitch. So how do you avoid feast or famine profits? You're going to go out and create opportunities for yourself. And this is far more scalable than the referral only model. Referrals are amazing. You should get referrals, develop a program around referrals. That was point one, but point two, you should go out and pitch for the business that you want. There's lots of different ways to do it. We cover all of them at Speak Your Way to Cash Live. But as a matter of, of fact, as a matter of like what you should be thinking about, how do I, every day I ask myself this question, who did I ask to do business with me today? Who did I ask to do business with me today? If I can't answer that question, I ain't doing something right. So some of you may be thinking like, oh man, that means I got to work every day, Ashley. That's not like a lot of work. I got goals of like self-care, blah, blah, blah. No, it does not mean that. It means that you need to leverage technology in order to work for you every day so that somebody is asking who you can do business with every day. We just hired a salesperson today, but on Thursday, we're actually having a class just for those who got their event ticket called the Prospecting Party, where we're going to talk about how to automate your outreach to corporate and organizational clients sponsored by our amazing sponsor connected so if you if you are like swamped for time you need to be in this class no you cannot get it if you did not come to the event no you cannot get it without having an event ticket yes if you buy your ticket today you will be able to attend on thursday but you need to be in this class it is like the best it's going it's off the chain like literally people came to this class last year this pre it's a pre-event party people came to the party last year the prospecting party is what we call it and they were blown away and felt like they got the value of their ticket just from this one session it is here the speak your way to cash book is now available for you to purchase go to amazon to get your audio kindle or hardcover copy of the book. And we have a paperback copy, okay? So you can get it on Audible and listen to it. And I read it myself. So if you love the podcast, you will love the audio book. Go get it now. Speak your way to cash, how to start at the top of the speaking market instead of working your way up from the bottom. A bit about the book. 
It's broken down into six parts and it is over 260 pages of goodness, okay? Part one covers mindset. Part two covers getting yourself in the press. Part three covers assembling your six-figure offer. Part four covers inviting people to work with you. Ahem, sales. Part five covers delivering an outstanding speech. And part six covers legalities that every speaker needs and how to build a team. I mean, literally, what did we leave out? Nothing. So go to Amazon and grab your copy today. And let me know you did it too. So you have to have a system for pitching. And it doesn't matter, y'all, if you are selling to corporations, if you are selling to executive coaching clients, if you are, it doesn't matter who you're selling to. Every day, I like to have something that is asking people to do business with me today. I send out emails almost every day. Y'all ain't getting emails right now, but don't, don't worry, they're coming. I have ads running right now. So when my emails aren't running, rest assured, I'm at least running an ad. I saw Abu on here earlier. I took his Power Your Launch Accelerator. It was off the chain. So I'm going to have some technology assisting me with being consistent in pitching and getting my brand out there. Like if I can't physically do it, there's going to be a technological tool or a human helping me ask people to do business with our company every single day. That's the goal. You know, you take one day off, that's fine. But like through the use of technology, through the use of leveraging talent, you can do that. And for those of you who are like leveraging talent, I don't know, like what's my, I don't have a big budget. How do I hire before, blah, blah, blah. We have another pre-event party all about hiring on any budget, which is going to be a game changer. Because I talked to my friend earlier today and she was like, Ashley, man, you wake up, you like, man, I just hired three people, did this, did that, did this. I like, because I learned how to leverage talent. And I didn't learn that from the online business world. I learned that as an executive level attorney at a firm, like my paralegal had a paralegal, (laughs) literally. So even in my corporate profession, I saw that the most successful people are able to leverage talent. They don't call it human capital for nothing. Like literally the ability to leverage the talents of others is the way that you buy time. How do you buy time? Through talent. If you followed me for any period of time, you've heard me talk about this, but I'll ask like, hey, you can buy time, true or false. And people will be like, no, you can't buy time. Time is fine. You buy time with talent. I buy time with coaching to make sure that I'm not wasting my time Googling something someone else has already figured out. I buy time through hiring the best people and keeping them as long as humanly possible, as long as they're still fulfilling the vision and I can make sure that they're happy here. I buy time through making sure that my home affairs, like outsourcing when I need to. So there's lots of ways to buy time. We'll talk about that as well at the event, at the pre-event party. And when I say pre-event, y'all, I'm talking about pre-Speak Your Way to Cash Live. That's our major event that we do every single year. All right, and then the third one, what can you do to take your referral system to the next level. So we talked about earlier how to maximize referrals, but I would submit to you all that whatever, let's say you already have a referral system. You have a system by which after someone works with you in their offboarding process, because there should be one, you are asking them to give you a referral. Here's where a lot of people fall off. Don't just ask them to give you a referral. Follow up on the fact that you want them to give you a referral. So it shouldn't just be, hey, I asked for a referral, nothing came. Did you follow up? I've had people ask me for referrals. I would give them to them. I just get, you know, I just get busy. And this goes back to a mindset shift that I've been talking about a little bit more this year of assuming positive intent. People are busy. They got stuff going on. You got stuff going on. I got stuff going on. Everyone's busy. And so you want to make sure you're not leaving opportunities on the table because you failed to follow up. To that point, I don't know if I can find it on the fly like this, but I'm going to show you all something for those of you joining me live. And I'll make sure I repeat it for those of you who are on the podcast listening to this. But there are... I have some amazing stats. I don't know if I'm going to be able to find it on the fly, but I'm going to try. Lean in. All the prayer warriors pray that I can find this because I want to share this with you guys. This is some behind the scenes stuff. I did this presentation for our Speak Your Way to Cash Academy students, which is our high level group program. And we have a high level mastermind launching in November as well. So just, you know, stay tuned. Just keep it, keep your ear to the streets on that. But I did this presentation with them. And one of the things that we talked about was, following up and referrals and the system of rejection. It was like an eight hour training. It's so good. And no, I don't sell it outside of our our high level programs and masterminds. But one of the, the things that I was able to share with them was about following up and prospecting amongst a slew of other things. And what I found really, really, really interesting was that if you look at the stats of who follows up when, it'll be really, really alarming. It's like 40% only, oh, ooh, ooh, I found it. Ha ha ha. Okay, I'm about to share this with you all. Look at this. Check this out. Check this out. And don't worry for those of y'all that can't see it. I'm going to um share. I'm going to tell you all what I'm what I'm showing them. Check this out, y'all. This is behind the scenes stuff, okay? Look at this. Only 
48% of salespeople never even make one follow-up attempt. Not one. 48% of salespeople never even make one follow-up attempt. Do you hear me on this? 80% of sales require at least five follow-up attempts. One, two, three, four, five. Five follow-up attempts. 44% of salespeople give up after just one follow-up attempt. One follow-up attempt. Well, what did we just say? 80% of sales require five follow-up attempts. Most salespeople give up after just one follow-up attempt. So what does that mean? What does that mean? 60% of customers say no four times before saying yes. What is this telling y'all? What is this telling you guys? This is telling you that if you are not following up, if you don't have a system, if you are just allowing people to tell you no once and you never talk to them again, you are losing out on a large segment of your interested buyers. Now, how do you get better at determining who's an interested buyer, who you should follow up with, what you, who you should let go? One of the things that you'll want to do is get better at your targeting. Get better at your targeting. I'm telling you. So referrals are great because what do they do? If you have a program around your referral process, if you follow up on actually getting those referrals, it could be bananas because your clients likely know other amazing people. And if they don't know other amazing people, they're not going to refer you to them because they don't want to mess up their relationship with you because they trust you and they know that you're really good. When we've gotten referrals from our clients, they've been amazing. They've been just like them. Our clients are a bomb, smart, highly educated, very successful, respectful, communicative, driven, brilliant, like that's who we work with. That's who y'all are. So y'all aren't going to send me somebody that is the opposite of all these things. Do you see what I'm saying? So when we talk about your sales process, your follow-up process, your referral program, which you need to have, do not give up if the first time you ask for a referral, someone doesn't give it to you, you should be following up because what did we just say? 80% of sales require at least five follow-up attempts. I'm not saying for a referral follow-up five times because those are not your, those aren't cold people. So handle them with care. Another thing is how can you creatively ask? This goes back to the serve first mindset. You want something from them? What can you do for them? What can you, how can you make it, how can you make it a win for them too? So just think about ways that you all can serve first. So I want to I want to recap because we covered a lot of good information here and I'm going to keep this on time because we have a lot of these episodes to do over the next 30 days or so. Number one, why most people are failing to maximize referrals, mainly because they just let them come. They have no program around it. How do you avoid feast or famine profits? You should have a pitch process some way to get your ideal customers into your business. And that can be automated. You could leverage technology to do that. So I'm not saying it has to be you. You should also leverage talent. You should buy time by hiring really qualified talent. And then three, what can you do to maximize your referral system? Don't just ask once follow-up. Don't just ask once follow-up. So hopefully this was good. Thank you so much to our listener who sent in that question. But one of her biggest barriers to Growing her speaking business was pitching and charging her rate. We covered all that and more in this episode. So if you're just joining us or you started in the middle, go back, listen to this episode from the very, 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 very beginning. I'm very excited about you all hearing this information and implementing it. And now I want to give you guys some resources. So what resources do we have to really help you along this journey in growing your business? Number one would be our free Speaker Ready Cash podcast and Facebook group. If you are not in the Speaker Ready Cash Facebook group, you should join. We are 5,500 members strong and growing every single day. So join and then invite a friend. Two, we have the Speaker Ready Cash book. If you do not have the book, get into it. Now, if you got the book, let me talk to y'all. If you got the book, but you ain't read the book, it's the same as not having the book, okay? So you need to go get it off of your table and read the book. It will change your life if you let it. Third... We are having our, I don't even know what number we're on for this, but we are having a Pitch Your Way to Cash challenge at the end of this month. And you all need to go to pitchyourwaytocash.com and register and get a VIP platinum ticket. This is our first time doing a five-day challenge. We've done three days. We're going to do five days and we're going to hang out with those who are in platinum for all five days. It's going to be off the chain, new content. Y'all already know how I'm coming. So just go get your platinum ticket for that. I think the platinum tickets are like $297, if I'm not mistaken. But go to pitchyourwaytocash.com and register for our next challenge. And then three, last but not least, drum roll please, the last resource that we have for you guys is Speak Your Way to Cash Live. So this is really for those who are like, I am 
serious about growing my speaking and consulting business. I'm an entrepreneur that wants to leverage speaking to land more clients. I'm a business owner who wants to ensure that I am doing everything I can do to build the business that will transform lives and also allow me to do well in the process. Then you need to be a speaker way to cash live. In fact, y'all, I'm going to tell you all why y'all need to be there. I'm not going to I'm going to show y'all. I'm going to show y'all why y'all need to be there. Because I just, you know, I just want to make sure we're all on the same page. Okay. Because I've been real, like, chill about this. Okay. I've been very chill about this whole ordeal with Speak Your Way to Cash. I'm like, oh, y'all should come to the event. Blah, blah, blah. I haven't even been talking about it as much on my main platform since we typically are selling most of our tickets through the challenges. We've already sold 160 tickets. The in-person event is 65% of the way sold out. So if you want it to come in person, you absolutely need to get your ticket for that right now. Like, don't, do not delay. Let me see if I can share. You say what's your after. I want to share with y'all why y'all need to be there. Okay. I don't want, I don't want you all to wonder about it. This is literally everyone that you're about to see or hear from if you're on the podcast was at Speak Your Way to Cash Live at some point in their journey. Let me share this with y'all. This is why y'all need to be there. This is what the young folks call receipts. Coming to Speak Your Way to Cash Live, what would you say was your biggest win in joining the program? I was able to land a $30,000 contract. I have secured my first uh, six-figure contract. My very first contract ever working with Ashley was a four-figure contract. I spent two hours of my time and made $27,000. You landed your first four-figure speaking engagement after attending the event. My new rate is $15,000. A $75,000 contract, the one hundred one we're talking about now, $121,400. It is way above the um, $100,000 After Speak Way to Cash, I submitted a proposal for it was $55,000, but it's actually up to seventy-two dollars now. So you mean to tell me, Jessica, that your first speaking contract was $60,000? Your first paid speaking contract? Yes. Oh, okay. Because so I want to make sure we got all the same page here. <laughs> <laughs> I love that last one because it represents exactly why our tagline is what it is. So I don't know if you all know this, but the subtitle of the book is how to start at the top of the speaking market instead of working your way up from the bottom. Because so often we think that, oh, I'm new to speaking. I should charge new speaker rates. It's like, but no, you're not new to your expertise. You're just new to putting it in this container. Okay. So I love, I love that video. I may share that video every single time I do this podcast now. I may even have it worked into the, the intro of the podcast. I'm going to talk to my, uh, my videographer about that probably this week. But I want you all to be there, not just because of the results, but because of the community, because of the fact that people come to this event and they realize what's possible for them. And then they go and change the trajectory of their family's lives. And they save a lot of time in the process. They save a lot of time, a lot of uh, effort and a lot of energy doing things that aren't productive and that aren't the fastest way to the growth that they seek. And so we want the right people at this event. We're very careful, okay, about who we have in the space. And y'all are very careful. If we don't get, if somebody ain't right, y'all gonna check them. I don't even gotta check them. Y'all gonna check them. So I wanna make sure we have the right people at the event. I'm super excited about this year's event. It is our seventh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh, Speak Your Ready Cash Live, okay? So you definitely wanna make sure you are in the building. Someone said, I mean, I, I had the book for six weeks before I cracked it open. I was disappointed by my own procrastination when I finally started reading it because it's so good. Okay, there you go. Look, I didn't pay them to say that. So check out the resources that we have. The most immediate way for you to work with me coming up is the Pitch Your Way to Cash Challenge. Make sure you're in the building. Get a platinum ticket. Don't be tempted by any other ticket. Get the platinum ticket. So many bonuses and benefits for getting that particular ticket. So I want you all to get the platinum ticket. Join us in the challenge and join us in November at Speak Your Way to Cash Live. Thank you all so much for listening to the podcast. I'll be back tomorrow answering another question. And until then, Thank you for joining the Speak Your Way to Cash podcast. Please do leave us a review and share this with a friend if it was good. All right. Wasn't that interview amazing? If you're anything like me, you have pages full of notes. But here's the thing. Before you head out, I want you to go to Facebook.com and join the Speak Your Way to Cash Facebook group. That is where I am. That's where a ton of other speakers are, a ton of other people who listen to the show. All We all congregate there and chat. And it's 100% free. Now, if you're ready to take your speaking career to the next level, I have two ways for you to do that. One, you can go to ashleynicolekirkwood.com slash SYWTC live replay and pick up the live replay. That training is seven modules, chock full of information. It's crazy. Go over there, read all about it. Or if you want a more personal experience, you're already 
You already know that you want to be a speaker. You're ready to fully commit and you want someone to walk you through it and save you tons of time Googling and doing it on your own. Then book a VIP day with me. You can go to AshleyNicoleKirkwood.com. Scroll down until you see the VIP day section and get more information on that there. All right. Thank you guys again for watching. Please do not forget to leave us a review. That is how we keep this train rolling and get some of the best speakers in the world to get on this show. So please, please, please leave a review. Shoot me a message on Facebook or Instagram and Facebook in the Speaker Way to Cash group, Instagram at, at the Ashley Nicole Show. And I'd be more than happy to chat with you and say hi. All right, y'all have an awesome, awesome day. <laughs>